What is going on you guys? I am back with another video and in today's video we are going to talk about sound active lighting. Let's get into it. I took to social media and I asked if you guys would like to see a video on sound active lights or how to run a DJ business and most of you picked sound active lights so check out this video hope you guys enjoy it. today we will be talking about some of the best sound active lights out there and I will also be talking about some of the sound active lights that I have so that way you guys can get more or less of an idea of the difference in, in lights because I know a lot of DJs out there prefer sound active lighting and in my opinion I like it also it just saves me a lot a lot a lot of time on you know using lights that have to be DMX and I personally don't have a lot of experience in DMXing I would love to try it but like like I said I'm not experienced in it and it might take me a very very long time in trying to do it so get started now aside from the lights that I have I was scrolling through the internet Amazon Guitar Center and I found about maybe two or three lights uh, affordable lights out there that are sound active and one of the lights that caught my eye was the American DJ Gogo projector that one it's small compact and it goes for about a hundred fifty to 160 dollars depending on where you get it another one another one that really caught my eye was the american dj in no pocket roll lead this one i believe it i believe you can also dmx it but for the most part it is sound active this one goes for about a hundred to $200, mainly $200, again, depending on where you buy it. The next one, these, oh my god, I love these. These are like OG 19, late 1990s lights. It's the Chavez DJ Mushroom Plug and Play LED Beam. These usually are the ones that, you know, throw out different colors. They, they literally look like a mushroom. I'll put a picture of it right there. These literally look like a mushroom. I remember seeing these at parties that I used to go to. I, this wasn't even. This was before I even started. I would see these, and these, for some reason, were very, very popular at parties. Like once the lights came on on a on a DJ booth at a party, it was like go. Oh. So these these are very popular. They they do great without smoke but they do even better with smoke. Now, uh, before we get into the ones that I use, the sound active ones that I use, check these out. This is a, uh, it's a speaker tripod, I'm sorry. This is a speaker tripod. Guess what? These are also sound active. I've been thinking of just grabbing these just for the fun of it. But I don't know, these come with a remote, so you can go from all kinds of colors, you can do all kinds of uh, sound patterns, and these typically go for about 80 bucks at Guitar Center, they are the American DJ Color Stand LED in black. I'm not sure if they have them in white, you know, I might, I might have to check. But these are amazing. Did I did I tell you what they look like? They're right there. Man, like I said, I, I would I think I would want to get them for myself. Those lights I would highly highly recommend only because 
one, they're affordable, and two, it see like I said, it saves you a whole lot of time on DMXing. If you're not a big fan of it or you don't really know too much about it, you can use these sound active lights, put them on your on your crossbar, and that's it. Let them do their thing. Uh, that's what I usually do. I I I it's a drag. You know, trying to DMX. Like I said, I want to get into DMXing only because a lot of people have been asking me if I do up lighting. That's coming soon. But in my opinion, it's just a whole hassle in be in in trying to do DMXing. So I just try to stick with sound active. Like these, for instance, you can either have these on sound active. Or you can, what do they call it? I think it's slaving. Yeah, I think it's called slaving. Slave DMXing. These are the ADJ Element Hex. Wow, it's small. It's right there. These typically go for about $300 a piece Oof. on Amazon. But you, you can find them for cheaper. I've, I've seen them cheaper uh, where I live for about 100 a piece. So I think this summer I might just go out and get me, I don't know, maybe four pack, six pack of lights because I want to have them for a quinceanera that I'm doing in September. I was going to say August, but it's in September. So I want to have those, and but I want to have them, like I said, by this summer. Only because I want I don't know anything about you know DMXing or wireless DMXing. That's another thing. You can also wirelessly DMX these with um what what are, what are they called? This is very popular when it comes to wireless DMXing. I saved it on my list on Amazon just so that way when I was ready. I can go and purchase these myself and they're supposed to be very good I'm not so sure but like everything trial and error oh before we get to that before we get to that here is another light that I highly highly recommend you don't even have to have any more any other lights with it you can just have this one alone by itself because I believe it's a four-in-one DJ light the Shavit DJ Swarm Wash. I've seen I've seen these on numerous channels. I think I've seen this particular light on two channels. Uh, I saw it on two different YouTube channels that I personally are, are subscribed to. Shout out to you DJ Bar, shout out to you DJ Rick Webb. Check out their channels, it'll be linked down in the description and also up on top of uh, on the corner right there. These lights are also sound active and I believe they are also DMXable. That's even a word. Yeah, you can also DMX these, I, I think. Uh, and actually, I don't know, don't quote me on that. But I know these are sound active and they work great. They have, I think it includes, it says here, it's got a rotating derby. A RGB UV wash and a ring of white SMD strobes and it's got oh yes and it is DMXable this light is DMXable so you can also use these to slave off of I don't know maybe up lights or another one that you may have on opposite sides of your bar uh, check this check this light out you will not regret it because I, I haven't used it myself but like I said I'm recommending you these lights so that way you guys can check them out because they're simple they're easy to use and the sound active is incredible most of these lights usually come with a a, sen a, a, a sensor knob which is like a little dial uh, where you can go from extra sensitive to not very sensitive. I usually like to have them right in the middle only because sometimes I forget to turn my lights off when I'm not playing music and talking and all sorts of noises, you know, make them go off. So don't, th that, that's another thing. Don't, I guess, don't make yourself look tacky. 
because making yourself look look tacky makes you look very very unprofessional so make have your setup looking professional have your music be on point you will be as professional as possible that is key because people will not only book you for how you I guess you could say mix and play music the type of music that you play they will also book you on how professional you are because I've met I mean and this is not bashing anyone I've met some DJs where I'm like I don't know you don't look very professional to me you're charging three four hundred dollars and you don't have some type of music always make sure that you have mm, I'm not gonna say a lot but a decent amount of music of every genre it doesn't matter if you like it or not just have it just put it in your playlist put it in your crate for those Serato uh, users out there I I use playlist uh, put it put it in your playlist put it in your crate and you'll see that you're gonna have that one gig that they're gonna ask you for that type of music. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about because it's happened to me. Oh yeah, what was I gonna say? Ah, yes, the wireless DMXing. Where are they at, where are they at? Here they are. These are the, the Shin Li uh, wireless DMX transmitters. The male, the, they have one male transmitter and six female receivers so the male would go into one one light and then the receivers would go on the uh, on the other lights so whatever that light is doing is gonna reflect on all the other lights around the room on your bar it doesn't matter where you have it but it, it works these I think these are off-brand Usually most other DJs are using the donors, but these work just as well, I would assume. And these go for about 130 to about 140 a set. This is the, the five, the five piece, but you can, I guess, mix and match. I'm looking at Amazon here. Yeah, on here, you can mix and match and they have a one transmitter and three receivers with a built-in antenna for $92. You, if you need a transmitter, you can also have that. But for me, it'll be one transmitter and five receivers with a built-in antenna. Only because it's very easy to use. Cause some you have to like plug in to a, to a power source. These you just charge them up and that's it. If you have, like I said, you I think you can also use uh, an American DJ app to control all your lights when it comes to wireless DMXing. Or you can also uh, use a, what is it called? Uh, Rick Webb uses this one. The Shavik Show Express, there we go. It gives you, I think it gives you like a, like a program and then they, uh, I think it also gives you like a console or maybe it's just like on a computer I'm not, I'm not too sure like I said I, I haven't really messed around with um, wireless DMXing or DMXing in that you know in that matter so I can't really tell you so much all right let's get into talking about the kind of lights that I have me the ones that I use the ones that I've been having since I started so let's talk Th these lights I got them for a very very cheap price at Guitar Center let me let me show you it's a it's a three pack I believe it's the American DJ party pack now as you can see right over here as you can see that's, that's what it looks like got that light got that one and it's got a siren <sighs> so this one at guitar center went for about let's see let me go back so like i said that specific 
I guess you could say box set comes with three lights and all sound active all of them I think there's about maybe one that you can uh, daisy chain so what it is is um, it looks like this so as you can see I don't know if you can see that but up in this corner right there see that there's there's a in and an out and what I was talking about daisy chaining is if you can grab one power source from one light and connect it to that light specifically well not specifically this one but if there's other lights out there like that you can put one cord to that one and use the power source coming out of the other light into your main uh, outlet and then those two lights would be in conjunction with each other they will be doing what the other light is doing it doesn't matter if uh, the other light has a different pattern you can use those as well so like I said you can daisy chain them and they will do this they, they will get the sound actually that's what it is you they, they will get the sound from that light and transmit it over to the next light so that way they can you know move and do all the patterns that that they do that this specific light I will put a clip of it that specific light is RGB yeah it's RGB it's not RGBW or UV it's just RGB which is red blue and green and that one it does all kinds of patterns you know it goes up and down side to side in circles you'll see right here the next slide i will be talking about and i personally don't really use this one is the, the little red siren that it that, that it comes with that little red siren if i'm if i'm up for it i will use it just for just for a wash for a red wash but then again, it makes it, it makes your setup look very tacky. So that's why I don't really bring it out that much. And with this light, the way that one works, it's not actually sound active. This one, it has like little knobs, like you would find on a drive on a drive rack for uh, sound for, for sound engineers for all the sound engineers out there. It has like those little knobs, and depending on which one you pick is what that pattern is going to be sometimes it, it you know it turns around I'll, I'll i'll post a clip of it uh right here this particular light it's a siren so it does all kinds of patterns it does slow ones it does fast ones there's a still one which is the one that i sometimes use for a wash like i said i'll post a clip of it right here the next one that i would like to talk about is the trihem led looks like this and that one it does what the mini gresser tri led which is the first one that i was talking about it it does similar pattern but it's it's a lot more compact it looks almost like a i don't know how can i how can i explain it i'm not gonna explain it here's what it looks like so that's what it looks like and that one does like I said similar patterns to what the Gresser does uh, with the only difference is that it's not like it doesn't have long strokes it actually has like like polka dots so it has it shows three when when, when it lights up it shows three uh, I'll show you in the clip right here uh, but that one is also uh, sound active along with uh, the mini Gresser this new one that I just got it's a watt it's a the wash light it can also be uh used to do patterns and stuff this one is also sound sound active this one is called since i got it not too long ago i still am trying to learn the name of it so this one is called the dragon x nano horizon rgb led wash mega bar dj stage color changing strip light <laughs> and this one what it normally does is like I said it's a wash light so it works as an up light you can light up a back wall let's say you don't have a facade you can light up that back wall or you can also light up 
a facade or you can also put it it has brackets for you to be able to put it on your bar so I think I'm gonna try and do that one, one, one day uh, but not right now so this one is also sound active and this one normally goes for about 60 bucks it's got more than the regular RGB the regular RGB it's got white it comes in white RGB and UV so when you want to do like uh, glow in the dark type of stuff you can do that too but it comes in red blue green and I think mine you can also do white so it's RGBW the next one that I have that I absolutely love is this ADJ RG yeah it's just red and green it's a laser it's from American DJ it looks like this and that one you can use it to light up a back wall or you can you know light up a ceiling or the crowd i normally don't don't use it for the crowd only because it kind of looks tacky so i don't really use it that much the only ones that i mainly use for my setup are the tri hem and the mini gresser and my wash only because it, it when, when the music's going and the lights are going it it, it looks a little off to be honest so those are the two main ones that I again only because it, it just looks a lot better and they do pretty cool patterns so that is it for today guys thank you guys for watching don't forget to like share comment about the types of sound active lights that I missed that you would have loved for me to talk about and also the one that you have so that way we can compare and contrast so like i said don't forget to like comment and subscribe and make sure to turn on your post notifications so that way you can get notified every time i post a video which is not that often but i try i try i'm gonna try to post more videos coming summer so that way you guys won't miss a thing i will see you guys next time bye all right guys if you like makeup if you like tutorials if you like catfishing people no i'm playing yeah if you like makeup if you like tutorials if you like challenges make sure to go hit up my friend michelle's channel the link will be down in the description and on this side Click on it, subscribe, leave in the comments, tell her that I sent you. Peace.